Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I am doing something different today. Um, I'm on Facebook and I do do Facebook on Tuesday night. But anyway, um, I had a dream and I want to share it with you. It's about letting God out of the box. <laughs> and we know what that means, don't we? Oh, it's out of tradition because we've always thought of him this way or that way or or something like that. And um, But God says, let me out of the box. So anyway, uh, we've been fasting for a few days and I, I'm just believing um, um, I have an interpretation of this. And I told this um, dream to my husband and he has a different uh, interpretation, but um, I've been praying and praying and seeking God with all my heart these last few days with fasting. And I believe in God's going to do some phenomenal things at um, our church tonight, Shekinah Worship Center, if you want to tune in. Um, but God is alive. And um, like I say, I'm going to do something different. So anyway, I had a dream just a night ago. And um, oh, hi, Sandy. I'm glad you're watching. So anyway, pray for me. Um, I had a dream. And in my dream, uh, my husband, Jack, uh, was in Sacramento. And he was opening, cutting, uh, like a box cutter, opening a box. And I thought, oh, that's strange. And that's all there was in the dream. But I've been seeking God because I'm reading Lana Vosser's book about the prophetic word. And I've had many dreams in the past about uh, uh, feeding women. And I thought, well, I do do Facebook and I got a bunch of things on YouTube and all this stuff. But anyway, okay, what I feel the interpretation was, because I want to encourage you, dear friends, <laughs> God is good and he's teaching me. So what I believe is he is saying, don't put me in the box of thinking this is the way I do it or you can't do it here or you can't go here or um, you've been sick or whatever and you know my husband has been challenged physically and um, now we're still called to go overseas we're still called to teach and um, I'm saying God uh, what are you going to do so reading Lana Vosser's book it's like um, I'm believing uh, nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is impossible. I'm getting that word uh, um, almost constantly for the past two weeks. And then I've been getting another one like um, yesterday, Ephesians 3.20. Oh, for God, let's see, is going to do exceeding abundantly above that which we ask or think. That means letting him out of a box of tradition and thinking, oh, you're going to do it this way. You're going to do it that way. No, he's going to do exceeding abundantly and even that was mentioned at church last night, exceeding abundantly. Now, how could that be? And then also uh, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9, I've believed that for a long time. Eye is not seen and ear is not heard, nor has it entered into the mind of man what God has revealed for him, what is God going to show him. And I thought, oh, I used to think, well, that's in heaven. But no, it's now. It's now. God is on the move. So, and then my first interpretation was, oh, it's Sacramento. That's mean because there's so much uh, wickedness there. And I'm going to decree that God is going to do something different in our government in Sacramento. I will decree according to, um, you know, what is that, Job 23, 28, or whatever, that I shall decree a thing and it shall be done for us. So I decree that righteousness is going to be established in, in Sacramento. California. Oh, because of the many um, um, bad things that have happened, I will say, God, your light, I declare, your light is going to shine on them in Sacramento, that there is going to be victory, there's going to be justice, there's going to be laws, uh, new laws made, and um, uh, promoting Christianity. And then I want to say also in, in uh, Washington, D.C., where we have been praying for Washington, D.C. Oh, Lord, and we'll say the swamp and the wickedness is going to be exposed and light is going to come. I decree light. And then many of us have been praying for our friend Ramin Parsa. He was testifying yesterday and the day before in uh, Minnesota. 
uh, against them, against, <laughs> decreeing that righteousness shall come to Minnesota, uh, that the Muslims there, they will see the light. I declare they will not believe in Sharia law, that they will understand that that is not a woman's right to be a Muslim and to, to do uh, what the men say and not to uh, do what Allah Oh, that we're going to decree from our, our heavenly place in Christ Jesus. We are seated in heavenly places. Dear ones, if you ever received Jesus Christ as your Savior, he took your sins. He became sin on your behalf that you might become the righteousness of God in Christ. So he seated us in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And we decree from that position that he has called us to be light bearers, to speak hope, to speak life to those that are in darkness. So we speak the light of the gospel is going to come to the nation uh, California, Sacramento, Minnesota, Washington, D.C., and whatever state you are in, that God is going to uh, do something new. We have the power to speak the word of God. Dear friends, dear women, dear men, oh, that the Lord Jesus Christ reigns from heavenly places through me. I am his spokesman, and you are his spokesman from heavenly places. We are seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we've been given a robe of righteousness. Oh, not our righteousness, but his righteousness. So I just want to say, let God out of the box. Decree righteousness shall be established in our nation. This is the time for all of us women to speak up, men to speak up. Do not be afraid. Do not be fearful. Uh, we decree righteousness shall be established. Righteousness, righteousness. Yes, we listen to our husbands. Yes, we are in agreement. We are in agreement. We obey our pastors. We honor our pastors, those who are in authority over us. We honor honor our president. Oh, Lord, we, we decree that he's going to see all oh, righteousness. He, um, that, that God Almighty is going to visit him and that his staff, oh, Lord, they are protected. We are, they are protected. No curse on them can't alight. I thank you, Jesus. We decree righteousness shall be established, justice, and that light shall shine on those in darkness, especially the Muslims on my heart. All the women, the poor women, Lord Jesus, that righteousness will be established. So I thank you. Find the scripture, I say, and I let God out of the box. We've been in tradition for so long. Oh, God's going to do it this way, or he's not doing it this way. And no matter what I've done, it's not working now. So I just say, let them out of the box. I am doing it. I am doing that even just by speaking to you. And I want to encourage you to listen to my husband. He's going to be teaching on Facebook uh, Tuesday night, and then you can share it because he's got a different interpretation. And just today, oh, he got a deeper revelation. I think it was even more important than mine. But anyway, God is going to, um, I'm decreeing that God is going to give you dreams and visions. And you're going to be bold. You're going to be bold because nothing can stop us because it's Jesus. He, his name is the power of God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes everyone. And we're going to see into the spirit realm because he said in 1 Corinthians 4, all oh, momentary light affliction is working for you an eternal weight of glory. For we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. If he said we could do that, I can't. And he told his disciples, oh, he's not speaking to them in parables. He's speaking to others. But he said unto them, oh, no, for you can know the mysteries and you can see and hear he said that to his disciples before they were even truly born again. <laughs> oh, God is so good, dear ones. I bless you now in the mighty name of Jesus. We are letting God out of the box and you are out of the box. <laughs> God bless you. You are healed. 
you're delivered. Uh, you have the word of the Lord, and it shall bring righteousness. We decree righteousness, humility in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>